I'm Dr. Emmett Brown. I'm standing on the parking lot at Twin Pines Mall. It's Saturday morning, October 26th, 1985, 118 a.m. And this is temporal experiment number one. Come on, I need... Hey, boy, get in there. That a boy. In you go. Get down. Get your seatbelt on. That's it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Please note that Einstein's clock is in precise synchronization with my control watch. Got it? Right. Check that. Have a good trip, Einstein. Watch your hands. You got that thing hooked up to the car? Watch this. Yeah, okay. Got it. Not me. The car. The car. If my calculations are correct, when this baby hits 88 miles per hour, you're going to see some serious shit. to be exact, and at precisely 1.21 a.m. in zero seconds, we shall catch up with him and the time machine. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Doc. Are you telling me that you built the time machine? And if it's a warning? The way I see it, if you're going to build a time machine into a car, why not do it in some style? Besides, the stainless steel construction made the flush dispersal miscalibration of the time circuit. Why could you get my notebook? It should be in the toolbox. What's in the box? Don't touch that. It's plutonium. Uh, plutonium? How do you think I generated 1.21 gigawatts of power? Notebook, notebook. Got it. Flux capacitor? That's it! What the heck's a flux capacitor? My latest invention. The thing that makes time travel possible. In this notebook, I detail the nearly three decades of scientific breakthroughs necessary to build a working time machine. If it ever fell into the wrong hands, the consequences could be catastrophic. Let's see. It's mass equals I times Z, and E equals the square root of Z times C squared. And the flux dispersal rate is inversely proportional to the fourth root of N, carry the nine, then. Consequences could be catastrophic? Well... Deja vu. I made a horrible mistake. 
Marty, is everything okay? Yeah, Mom, I, it, was, it was just a nightmare. Uh, I was in the past. Doc was there. Well, you're safe and sound now. Back in good old 1986. But you'd better get up. Your father's waiting for you. Huh? Weren't you going to meet him over at Doc's?